Hi there, I'm going to show you how to add boundaries to your XMind mind map. Now boundaries are useful for grouping all of your ideas together. So for instance, let's look at my weekly plan. Let's say I want everything that comes under personal stuff to be grouped together. I would click on the topic personal stuff and then click on this button here that says boundary. Now you can also press Control and B. But I'm going to click on this boundary marker here and you'll see that all of the topics have been grouped together under one boundary. Now as with most things on XMind, you can also edit this by clicking on the boundary itself, going across to the properties sidebar, and you can choose and apply the type of boundary that you want. So you might want a nice pink cloud or a very surprise-like theme. Let's go for that one because it looks fun. And if you'd like to change the color of it, you can do so by clicking on this line color option here. I'm going to make it a bold yellow so that it stands out. And again, just have a play with it, choose whichever kind of shape you want. And once you've finished, click off it and you'll see that you have a boundary created. So again, it's very much down to you to experiment with what kind of color and theme you want for your boundary, but now you know how to insert boundaries. To finish off, if you'd like to delete this boundary, all you have to do is right click on the boundary itself and press delete. And the boundary's been deleted.